back to the channel. Today's tutorial is going to be a rather simple one as I really didn't have anything as simple as this and as cutesy as this on the channel. Now this can be made in any free editor, Photoshop not being free, it is paid, but you can use GIMP, Pixlr, Photopia I guess, and I have, well at least for Pixlr and GIMP, examples on the channel of how to use each of those softwares, and they are completely free to download. Now, without any further delay, I want to jump right into how to make this banner. I'm going to start off by going to File, New, and the width is going to be 1200, and the height is going to be 530. Now, as usual, we're going to create a new layer by going down here and clicking the plus. I'm going to delete the backgrounds. Then, we're going to come over to the left side and go to the round and rectangle tool. I'm holding down my left mouse button to pop up more options. So around your rectangle tool, I'm just going to drag that down. Now, from here, we're going to go under properties. And if you don't see the properties window, simply come over to window, go down to properties, click it. It will then pop up right here. You can either leave it there or drag it to the side and dock it. Now, for the properties, the width, we're going to adjust to 930. And the height, we're going to adjust to Oops, 240. As you can see right down here at the bottom, I added a key visualizer so you should be able to see which shortcuts I am using or here on out. And then for the final step for the curved edges, just go ahead and max that out at 120. Now I'm going to take this and move it to the center. And of course we have all this extra space just in case you need to use it. We aren't going to use all of it, it's just there as extra space. Now we're going to do Control G and I'm going to call this the base area. Right click on the eyeball, let's make that red. And this is base. Now we're going to do Control J and do Control T. I guess you can see that at the bottom I don't need to say it out. And let's actually make this black before we go any further so we can see what we're doing. And we want to adjust this in a way that we have a nice bit of space or even-ish space on all the sides. That should be good enough for this. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the background and of course all these files are going to be in the description for you to download. There we go. Now we're going to Control T and then drag this down to fit right around here. Now I'm going to clip this to the bottom and for now we're going to hide this little eyeball by the way, I did alt click right the edge to clip it as a shortcut, or you can do right click and create clipping mask. Now control J, and I'm going to move this around. I'm going to flip that by adding a negative sign to the front of it. And move that over until it's connected. Now right click, merge down. Now we're going to adjust the size of this again. And then it should be good right there. Now we're going to go into image adjustments and color balance and we're just going to make it a little more pink about negative 24 on the magenta slider click ok and now we can pop this back up as you can see we now have those little flowers in the edges and our black center now this black center we're going to copy real quick and the way we're going to do this at the top we're going to call this the center shadow and at the bottom we can call this one just center. And the center one is going to be a white fill with opacity down at about 30%. And for the center shadow, we're going to put this at exclusion. Where is it at? Exclusion, then right click, go to blending options, inner shadow, and we're going to be using 75, 0, 0, and 9 for these settings. As you can see, we now have a nice little center section for what we can add our text and other effects to. Let's collapse this, collapse that, let's create a new layer, let's group that, and we'll call this the text. Let's make this orange, and then we're just going to drop our text down. Let's call it rules, and the font I'm using is Bunch Blossoms, and I'll have this linked as well in the description for you. Now the font color is going to be white, and then we're going to right click, go to blending options, 
stroke and the color we want to use for our stroke is the following E375B8 and pause if you have to to get all those numbers and let's say three pixels for that we can adjust it in a second if we want to go ahead and move this down so it fits a bit better All right, that should be good. And don't forget, we also need to add a drop shadow. So I'm gonna right click, go into blending options, go over to drop shadow. And that's actually perfect as well, 72, nine, zero, and five. So click okay, and then so centered, yep. Yeah. Now we can close out of this, create a new layer, do control G, and let's call this decoration, or just decor. Right click on the eyeball, let's make this blue. Now we're going to drag in this butterfly. That butterfly, we're going to adjust the size of it down. And then let's see, right about here should be good. That's I'm holding shift, I'm rotating it so it rotates at even 15 degree angles. Let's go ahead and move this right there. Now if you're using the transform tool, the free transform tool, you may occasionally notice that it's not adjusting proportionally. In that case, you might have this unchecked, in which case, if this is unchecked in the top right, it was where I'm currently at, then you need to hold shift to adjust it proportionally. If it is checked, you can just drag it down normally and it will adjust correctly. Now we're gonna right click on this, go into color overlay, and then go into stroke. And the stroke, we only want at about two pixels. Click okay. And don't even bother naming this because it's the only decoration that we have, so it's not a big deal about keeping it organized. Let's control J. Let's move this over. Let's rotate that one 15 degrees to the left. Control J. Let's move this down. Rotate to the right and make it a bit smaller. And then control J. Move it to the left side. Rotate 15 degrees to the left. And that is perfect. Now we can take all of this use the rectangular marquee tool and I'm holding down my left mouse button to pop up more options. I'm going to highlight over all of that, go to edit, copy merged, file, new, create, do control V, delete the background, and from here we can either do file, export, save for web, to make the image as small as possible, or file, save as, and choose PNG. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, and I promise I'll have more complicated banners coming out, maybe not this week, but likely next week, and definitely sometime this month, because I know I've been doing lots of basic ones. Other than that, have a great day.